Hello, it's day 238, and I want to talk about yoga. Back when my sole purpose in life was to lose weight, I feel like yoga is the one exercise that I never became obsessed over. I went through a phase when it came to almost every other type of exercise. I got obsessed with running, hiking, home workouts, you know, like using the elliptical, like more than was healthy. And like so many things in my dieting past, I have no idea why I became obsessed with some things and not other things. Like why did I go down certain roads and not other ones? If you think about it, yoga was set up in a way where it should have been one of my fads back then. It should have been one of those things that I became overly obsessed with. Because it was the perfect storm. Yoga has a ton of home workout videos. You can find them on YouTube. You can find them on the internet. You can find them at your local library even. They have DVDs of like ladies doing yoga. Um, it's something you can do in private. It's something that promises that you'll become um, lean and toned and you know you'll be flexible and healthy and sexy above all things. So why was yoga never really on my radar? I think it has a lot to do with, again, how I was raised. Remember, I was raised in a really rural town, um, and if you were doing anything out of the ordinary, you were viewed as kind of a freak and there was no coming back from that. So if you were doing yoga down at the gym, for example, people were going to think you were some kind of devil worshipper. It makes no sense, but that's how people were. So it was something I avoided until I got to like high school and college. I think I also kind of missed the yoga fad, so to speak. I feel like yoga comes in and out of style pretty regularly, but it's always one of those things that is semi-popular. I bet you could go down to your local gym right now and find a class of yoga that's running. But I am really uncomfortable in class environments, and because of that I think that's another reason why yoga never really caught on for me. But really, I think the main reason I never became obsessed with yoga is because I think that the yoga people are a little more realistic when it comes to what it's going to do for your body. If you think about it, there are not many yoga people, there are some, but there aren't very many out there who are just going to come right at you and say, this is the solution, this is going to make you skinny, this is going to make you sexy. Usually they approach it in a much more holistic way. They'll say, yes, it'll increase your flexibility. Yes, you'll feel calmer. Yes, you'll probably um, start having a better relationship with your body. But they don't, they don't like throw it at you like it's the solution. And because back then I was looking for the solution, it never really occurred to me as something that I should try. And nowadays I hate to say it, but I think I'm a little bit past yoga. Like, it doesn't really sound like something that appeals to me anymore. When I go to work out, I go to shut my brain off. And I don't really think that I can do that in a yoga class. I also don't think I can do that with a workout DVD. Because you have to pay attention to the exercises. I like things where I can hypnotize myself. And some people will be like, oh, well, yoga would be great for you. But what they really mean is meditation. No, I like running because when I'm running, I can put on some K-pop and just zone out. I like um, hiking because I can go places, I can take my dog, and again, I can just zone out. I like zone out exercises and yoga is not that thing. Yoga is like you have to be mindful, you have to be present in your body, and there is no way in hell I want to be present in my body. My body is a dumpster fire, and it takes quite a lot to like make a dumpster fire appealing, or to treat your dumpster fire as a temple, right? I have a long way to go when it comes to that, and I don't really think that yoga is going to be something to help me.